evil All the victims were slashed to death. With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for prey. The trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Here it is, the Barrow's Mansion. We have to go there and look around, or we'll never solve the mystery of scissor men. Got to be joking. It's way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we're not safe anywhere, Doc. One after another, <gasps> the horrifying murders continue. <gasps> Who will make it through this game of murder alive? Clock. Tower. Hello, I'm Omri, and we're starting again, starting anew. Um, we're putting Jennifer back through the the ringer again. <laughs> I just felt like I, I took too many breaks in between each session, and I feel like I didn't absorb the story as much and. You know, I did more research and how, like, the developers really wanted to balance story and gameplay to create a scary experience, and I felt like I was almost disrespecting that by kind of, uh, going through it. Like, I didn't recognize the characters at the end, and that seemed pretty vital. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen. Uh, I am going to talk over the cutscenes because you've already seen them, I think twice. I think this is my second time starting over. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today. And I lost my train of thought. I will also put the opening in with some on-screen commentary. I noticed some things. <laughs> you may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, I did accidentally spoil myself. So, I'm not crazy about that. But, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I just love how, how blunt that is. And they're, and they're like, you don't, need, you, you don't hypnotize her. She's not ready to remember the murders. There's, I was for the giant pair of scissors that were used to slice your friends in half, Jennifer. How does that make you feel? I know you're not mentally ready to to talk about that trauma but you can look at it i can take these and sniff them at you how, how would that feel if i just kind of grabbed them and just started sniffing <laughs> i mean it's kind of a dumb comment because everything looks sharp but those scissors look sharp Sharper than his suit, sharper than everyone's shadow. But I, I feel like those are, are real scissors. And I think they live in a world where if scissors are going to be that big, I'm surprised more murders haven't happened, honestly. <laughs> I feel like, I, I may have made, made this comment multiple times, but I feel like it's more unsettling if the statue was warm. <laughs> because why would it be warm? <laughs> I 
think this does mean I'm gonna have to keep Barton alive. Okay, I didn't spoil everything. I spoiled some things. What animal do you think that is? I think it's like a fox. It looks like orange and it's got like the pointy eyes that like foxes are, are drawn with. It could be like a cat, <laughs> I guess. Also, something I didn't pick up on was one, how do they know what Scissor Man looks like enough to make a mask? And two, if they're mask producing masks, is it even really Scissor Man that's chasing, chasing us? Things to think about. Shut up, Danny. <laughs> Think I checked everything? I will talk to... Harris. Yes, I took names of, notes of the characters' names, so I'll, I'll know who I'm talking to. Because I want to feel sad when they die. We're happy when they die. Oh wait, no, I need to check. And you guys are just stone still, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I think I need to- this is where I- do the statue, I just- I, I decide Rick's fate. Rick- Rick seemed nice. <laughs> now, well, how come when he didn't pick up the statue, he got all... Predator vision, you know? Because the scissors are fake, the statue is real. Like, that's the- that is the real statue? But in the desk is just a pair of scissors, and that that's what made him freak out? I will say, I do appreciate that Helen has more of a character. She's got a bit more fight in her. That I've grown attached to Jennifer. I don't want to abandon her. Oh, something completely random that I found. I didn't just find this out. I actually knew this, but it's not even relevant anymore. <laughs> I walked out of the room. You know that isometric angle in games where you only see like the two walls and it's like a black space around it because you're basically looking into a dollhouse as you're walking around? That is a staple of classic Japanese paintings. I don't know the official name for it. But I think it was like the tale of... <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll put the word in. Kenji? I think it was tale of Kenji. Like a lot of the... Painting's done for that. Wait. Um. Had that style of. Are you saying this to Harris? <laughs> We're done in the, in that style of, of 
it, it's almost voyeuristic in the fact that they they remove the ceiling of buildings in in the image and then uh, the two walls that would obstruct your view so you can see them in the room but you're not there did you like my lesson <laughs> I, I knew nothing was going to happen, and it still unsettled me. <laughs> oh no, Nolan! I did find something about Nolan that I do not like. Well, I... No, I, I don't like it. I was going to say... He's 26, and it's not that... Oh, I hate 26-year-olds. It's, it's the fact that he asked Jennifer on a date. And apparently Jennifer's like 15? So I'm not... Super... Cool with that. Was it implied that the Harris also had a thing for Jennifer? It's just like every is everyone in Norway creepy? I definitely said this the first times is it's weird to me to be like, does Scissor Man exist? You have the scissors that a body has been sliced with. Yes. <laughs> he exists. You should feel you should feel pain, Nolan. You're a bad man. Wouldn't it be cool if this man actually wasn't trying to get Jennifer? He was trying. She was trying to. He was trying to get all the like the creepy like grown men around her. But I mean, you saw the baby at the beginning. Maybe he has like really bad cataracts and he can't see well, so he's trying to defend Jennifer. But he. <laughs> He can't tell people apart because his eyes are so mutated and demonic that he just snips away at anyone. Oh, also, uh, during this playthrough, I'm going to try to use a lot more aggression. <laughs> It's still weird to me that they just kind of ditched the one girl that you could escape with in the first clock tower. She's just gone, I guess. I get you, like, you can't predict which girl you, you get out with. Because I think there's two options. I think Lottie is... Lottie's down no matter what you do. Why is there a bird in here? The other two. You could have just said, oh, the other girl, she went insane or something. And that would also bring more plausible di 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 what? Plausible deniability to, to Jennifer's claims if the other girl was, went to, was like sent to a hospital or whatever because she went crazy. I still think it's odd to me that Edward is younger than Jennifer. 
and yet, well, because he had to open a track to after get it, but never. And no one questions that. So I'm assuming Jennifer is the first person to survive and the one to bring it to light. Being like, hey, there was a lard baby that I killed and a boy with big scissors and he's very slow and he's after me. You can go find the bodies and uh, confirm my statement. I wrote this down. I'm going to say no. Maybe that'll save Rick? Because, I mean, Mr. Sullivan was too dumb to live anyway. Oh, why did it, like, focus? Like, focused on his shoulder for some reason. It's just... Weird how okay with this kid. Like, like, they question Jennifer and everything she says and does. And she's like, well, her testimony's not credible or whatever. This kid could just be messing with him. And be like, he he, I'm gonna tell him I don't remember my name so I can get out of this stupid orphanage. <laughs> I can go to hotels and stuff. I'll tell them whatever they want to hear. Checking. It's weird when the save noise is the loudest thing. <laughs> What do you think though those posters are of? They look vaguely like they might be famous people. But I don't know. Oh, I wanna go to This game is also a lot shorter now that I'm thinking about it. I guess Clock Tower itself is like an hour long game at most. And it's part of the experience to to play it over and over again. Oh, no, I have to talk. <laughs> They don't really treat Jennifer like she's 15, though. I feel like Helen's ir Helen's ir irresponsible in this scen scenario. You're leaving Jennifer alone for the night. Also, I feel like playing with Jennifer spares Helen, because Helen actually knows these people. And Jennifer just... I mean, you can see her face. She doesn't seem to care too much about these people. And they shouldn't, because they're all creepy. Is that the only time they use 
parentheses for thought because earlier when I was like, is Barton talking to Harris? Like saying all that to Harris? They didn't have the parentheses, so I think he was just <laughs> voicing his thoughts out loud. Edward's face looks like he, like, you held something really gross that he didn't want to eat up to his face, and he's like, mm. Can't you see my name tag at the bottom of the screen? And she never shows up again. Very suspicious, actually. I didn't catch that before. <laughs> Is he Scissor Man? I like Miss Mary in disguise. <laughs> what a sissy. <laughs> Jennifer didn't lose her memories. She never comes back. Well, that was awkward and didn't really do much, but... I guess I never picked up... on how shady that is. <laughs> Wait, so Jennifer, the 15-year-old, is living with Helen in her, like, dorm room? Don't play the- don't play the romantic music. Stop it. Stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No. I'm say no to Nolan. I need, like, the red arrow. I need the panic button. Where's my panic button? Him out. I'll snip them clean. No, Nolan, no. Go away. I feel like I've missed so many st weird signs in the beginning. I'm kind of glad I'm going back. No, don't tee he. Well, she's a kid. She doesn't know any better. Nolan, though. Deserves to get, get, get chopped with the scissors. Oh wow, that was some squishy sidewalk. <laughs> Maybe she's got like rocks in her boots. Please, someone help me. I didn't know I could do that. What is you walking on?
What's wrong? Help! Someone is following Wait, me! Wait, so Nolan asked her out and just left her? To like walk home alone in the dead of night in Norway? <laughs> Nolan, you disappointed me. I didn't like you, but now I hate you. <laughs> that was a smooth ending to uh, the first, the third first episode of Clock Tower. Thank you for joining me. We're gonna do better this time. Promise. <laughs>